Good morning. We continue our meditations on deep ecumenism <clears throat> with a particular focus today on the I am we find in all things. The phrase I am in the Western scriptures, Exodus, of course, is the name given divinity. When Moses asked God, who shall I tell people you are? I am who I am in the book of Exodus, or I am who I will be. <clears throat> but the I am phraseology is not found just in, in the West. In today's uh, meditation, we hear a poem from Thich Nhat Hanh, the Vietnamese Buddhist monk, which is an I am poem. I am the frog. I am also the grass snake who eats the frog. I am the child in Uganda. And I am the arms merchant who sells weapons to Uganda and um, is killing this child in Uganda and so forth. So the I am teaching is very universal and it's very powerful. And um, I also tell the story about how a friend of mine who's Buddhist re reminded me that the Buddha is, is happy and smiling because the Buddha is in bliss. And of course, seeing the Buddha serene and happy is an invitation for all of us to develop that Buddha experience in all of us, the I am uh, that the Buddha is, and the I am that the Christ is, and the I am that the image of God is, and so forth. So a few years ago with Bishop Mark Andrus in San Francisco, we produced this book, The Stations of the Cosmic Christ. And among the stations are the seven I am's and, and um, uh, found in John's gospel. And uh, uh, a good friend of mine, MC Richards, who is a renowned potter, created uh, I am tablets, seven of them, for each of these seven I am's. And that's um, integral to our stations of the cosmic Christ. And we added another nine stations. But these, as you recall, are some of the I am's. I am the light of the world. Well, how are you the light of the world? Uh, because the I am is about the cosmic Christ, not about the historical Jesus as such. He's not speaking these, <clears throat> but the Christ in all of us is speaking it. So we have a not only a, a right, but a responsibility to turn these questions on ourselves. How are we lights of the world? I am the living bread or the bread of life. How are we bread of life to one another? I am the vine. Hmm. How are we vine to one another? What does the vine uh, signify? I am the good shepherd. A very important I am statement for a time of equal crisis like ours. How are we good shepherds to, to other species, to other animals? I am the door or the gate or the way. How are we gates to one another, doors to one another, ways to one another? I am the way, the truth, and the life. How are we a way? How are we truth? How are we life to one another? And I am the resurrection and the life. How are we resurrection to one another and life to one another? <clears throat> And in addition to the book and the stations that we created to put on the walls of churches, we've also created this small collection of cards for the stations of the cosmic Christ. Again, there are 16, seven are the I am, nine are other moments of the cosmic Christ, such as, for example, Matthew 25, where Jesus, the historical Jesus, creates an amazing parable that is summarized when he says, when you do it to the least, you do it to me. When did you see me hungry and feed me? When did you see me naked and clothe me? Um, that we are all I am to one another. And so um, uh, this is a profound teaching from Jesus about the meaning of compassion. It's not at all unlike Thich Nhat Hanh's poem, that he is not only the, the frog, but he's the snake eating the frog. He's not only the, the child who's dying of skins and bones in war in Uganda, but he is the arms merchant sending deadly, deadly weapons to Uganda. So this I am consciousness takes us out of our 
ego as such and puts us in the in the souls and in the, the moccasins of others so that we undergo one another's joy and we undergo one another's suffering. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.